We're going back to the amusement park with Mamoru and Yuri. Well, we already unlocked the underworld. What else could we do here in Mission 2? So as we meet Yuri here, like this is after Yuri ran away from Yorito because Takiyaki shoved a gun in her face. Which, you know, Takiyaki might have been right in doing so. It didn't seem like at the time, but Look. he might have had a point. Showing Mamoru the nature of this world. That she shatters the glass bird. Everything tries to stay the same. If we don't hurry, it'll revert to the way it was. Back into the chaos of nothing. All right, and the bird is whole. You... You believe me, don't you? I've been waiting for you for so long. I mean, it turned out that mother did exist, yes, just maybe not how Mamoru uh, expected it. All right, second objective. Acquire a glimpse of mother. I mean, I thought we did that last time, but we have to do something else here. The required object can be seen somewhere outside of walking distance. The item we need to find is in a location related to that object. Find the object that requires two previously acquired items. A little vague, but let's see. We have to acquire small change. All right, where do you think we might find small change? Anywhere on the map that might indicate that. Well, right next to us is a ticket machine that's something people put change into. So we can do that. We can also... Oh, there's someone there. This guy was not there before. I'm gonna tell... Uh, do I need to tell her to wait? I'm not sure. We'll just try it. Alright. Pick up... Yeah. Right. Let's take a look at this. What did you pick up? I got some small change. Mamoru is just in the habit of doing this. Just whenever he passes by a machine like this, he sticks his fingers in the coin return. Most of the time, he doesn't find anything, but this time, he found two ten yen coins. Now we have to search near the Ferris wheel. Okay, let's head over there. Ferris wheel is this way. Is there anyone up th Yeah, there is someone up there. Let me take a look at my current gun. Nine bullets. What does he have on him? Pick up, pick up, pick up. There we go. Okay, fully loaded. You might notice that Yuri does not pick up weapons. Y Ichiko was. And most of the escort characters will pick up weapons. Um, Yuri does not. Alright, it wanted us to examine near the Ferris wheel. And we could look all over. But what we actually have to find is over here. What's it for? Well, we got a battery. A backup battery carelessly stored under the Ferris wheel. It still has enough charge to power the electric ride. So this basically says what we need to use it for. And the reason we need to use it is because there's a sniper. Is that him? Yeah, that's the sniper. If we get close to him, he will shoot us dead. We have to draw him out. 
Yeah, because we cannot get close to him, so we do have to draw him out. How do we do that? Hey, remember this? We were not able to do anything with this ride before. The battery seems to be dead on this. Let's use the battery. Let's insert the change we just got. Okay, now it's going. Alright, over here. There he goes. That guy's very curious about what that noise is. Alright, now we're down here. And what do we get? Well, we got pliers. A pair of pliers found in the custodian shack. It can be used to cut wire. Cut the chain on the front gate. All right, let's head on over. This guy over here... is very fascinated by this. One in the head, even though he's wearing a helmet. We got his rifle. Let's see. Now, something I, w I just want to remind you. Mamoru's aim, terrible. We have to get up to point-blank range to people to shoot, so... Guns are basically melee weapons in the hands of Mamoru. But that guy's up. I forgot about him. Yeah, we're missing. You see how many times he missed there? When I got knocked away? That was too far. Alright, we're starting from here. That's not bad. Is that guy still looking? Yeah, okay. He's still looking. And this guy up here. Where is he? There he is. Uh, he might see us if he's walking over here. Yep, he saw us. Right, he's coming. Gonna have to get close to him so I can actually shoot. Okay. I was- I did not think I would actually hit him from that distance. But we did. How many bullets do I have left in this? Twelve. Should be fine. Alright, it said- it will tell us what we have to do. We have to get to the front gate. Because the front gate is tied up with some wire. Oh, hey. Look who it is. That guy down there, he's up, and he ha he does have his gun since I died. So, I don't actually want him to turn around while he's holding that gun. Let's wait for Tomoe to come back. Here she comes. Take her saw, which again is a very good melee weapon. Now, if you're wondering what we're trying to find, that you can see that there's wire on that front gate. We have pliers. We can now cut this wire. Right, he's down. There's also like something on the ground past the gate. Doesn't look like this can be opened. Whatever's on the floor belongs to Mom. Let's see what it is. What's this? 
Come on. Oh. Okay. Mother's scale. We got one of her scales. It's kind of gross. So a few things happen there. Let's take a look at our uh, our archive. Well, first we can take a look. Oh, our third column is now unlocked. Someone named Ikuko Kifuna. We have not seen her before. She just appeared now. Well, technically we did see her before, but you would not have noticed. Let's look at the description of this cutscene. Pigeons return. Ikuko saves Mamoru just before he is consumed by mother. In his place, Shu is consumed. Countless Yamire pour forth. Yeah, so... Uh, it turns out that Yuri was, well, luring... She wanted... She didn't... She was luring a human to mother, not just to free mother from the underworld, but also, I guess, mother needed to eat a human in order to give birth to Yami Ray. And this is introducing the new enemy type of the game. Uh, just like we have Shiri Shirio and Shipito, we now have Yami Ray, which will lead to something else. All right, archive items. Mother's scale, because we removed the wire from the gate. A light pink scale em emitting a strange, dull light. Estimating from the size of the scale, it would have to come from a massive creature with a body length measuring over 10 meters. And yeah, that's be accurate. Mother is a tall girl. And here's the old scroll, chapter 2. Um, the requirement to get this one is the return of the Yamabito. And the earth was a chaotic seed, without form or, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the creatures that crawl upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 
In a state of chaos, the darkness and creatures swept to the depths, away from the flooding light. And there they melded as one with the darkness. And those who failed to find shelter from the light took form deep below the surface of the water. And for those locked in darkness, they sought to regain their place in reality. Sending one of their own in the form of a maiden, they wait for the day they can rise from the depths. So, those locked in darkness sent one of their own in the form of a maiden. So, mother was locked in darkness. She was sending it, she sent out Yuri, among others, but Yuri was the one who got the job done uh, to rise from the depths. There's also someone else here. There's also something else that took form deep below the surface of the water. Um, so we'll probably talk more about that later on. But as for Mother, uh, she sent Yuri, but you might notice that in that cutscene, um, when Soji looked at Mother, he said, Ryuko, no, you're not her. Because when Soji looked at Mother, he saw Ryuko, the girl that he used to live with, and the girl he's accused of murdering. When Shu looked at Mother, he saw someone else that he called Kanai, uh, which is why he walked towards her and embraced her because he thought he recognized her. So it seems that different people have encountered avatars of Mother at different times. Yuri was just one of them, and Mamaru happened to be the sucker who actually went with her to free Mother, but other people have met her in other forms as well. We also saw something else that's kind of curious. We saw uh, Ichiko with blood on her, crying over what appeared to be Shigeru's dead body. Last time we saw them, they were quite alive. They were fine. So, looks like something happened. And we saw... Well, we saw Yorito holding his head from the sound of the siren. We saw um, Takayaki fighting some Shirio. Uh, and then, of course, we saw everyone running away as Mother proceeded to give birth to many Yamire. So it's, prob it's probably not a good thing. What can we do? Oh, in the upper right-hand corner, in an early mission, a mission two has now become available. Why it's shoes, Shoe Mikami, but not adult shoe. This is the first level, with Child Chu. Child Chu now has a second objective. And that is what we are going to be doing as we continue on with Siren 2. But the, uh, the cutscene that we got this time, this is basically the turning point of the game. Up to now, we've been dealing with Shibito, and the plot has mainly had to do with Yuri trying to get people to help her out find Mom. Well... Mom has been found, and uh, things are getting things are going a little bit different. So um, next time we play Siren Two, we're going to see what this different direction might be. What happened with Shu as a child as he escaped from his house? <laughs>